It was pouring. It was very, very <laughs> wet. Oh, look at Winnie boy. <laughs> he's, <laughs> he's got his dirty butt. Hi guys. <laughs> look at your little head. Yeah. Your little, little wet. You're a little wet. Okay. Oh, oh thank yeah. you. Oh, thank you. Oh my goodness, you're even wetter. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't you, care. You just do not care. <laughs> he loves it. <laughs> I got hair, I don't care. Levi's like, get it off me, mom. But they I do like to get dried off with towels. They love to get dried <laughs> off with towels. Hi guys. Hello, hello. We're gonna kind of do a short one today. Um, we're expecting my our neighbor in a little bit here. He's I'm gonna ready. walk through the house with him. He's the engineer and get some get some ideas from him because I ran into a really big problem today. <laughs> a really big problem, at least as far as I can determine at this. Whoa, look at this. Determine at this point in tree, point in time. What happened to this tree? Mm -hmm. Is that, that just weird? a dead branch sitting Is on there, it? Oh. It just fell on top of it, right? Uh, this yeah. This branch right here? Yeah. Just is. It's just. Oh no. That's, no. That's Why is it so brown? That's what I, I thought it was this, but it's not. It huh. just died right there. All right. Anyway, squirrel. That's buddy. okay. I don't like this tree. I want to get rid of it. No, run it over with the tractor. I will. But yeah, that's weird. The whole center right there just died, or one branch. Interesting. The chickens love that tree though, so I feel bad. Yeah, and Levi <laughs> goes under it sometimes, but it doesn't matter. He has his own tree down he there. He has a better tree. Um. I'm not gonna get into exactly the giant problem that I ran into today with, um, with the house. But let's just say one of the walls doesn't sit on the foundation. Hmm. We'll, just, we'll just call it that. That's pretty just, much the gist of it. That's pretty much the gist of it. Yeah. This wall right here that you're <laughs> looking at, oh. it's six inches off of the foundation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> That's a lot of water. Yeah, it's still still coming down. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you can see how much it's been raining. Look yeah, at this. Yeah, we, gotta, we it's have gone. a lot of water. It's gotten all down. Wow, look at that. And it's interesting. I'm going to take, once, um, once we get a bucket, I'm gonna come and take this and scoop this out and use this as some soil and compost too. I'm gonna mix it all in with the chicken stuff that we pulled out, or the bedding that I pull out of the chicken. I was gonna come check out the French drain. <laughs> I'm just standing right here. <laughs> Ooh. Is it washing away? There's um, <clears throat> there's a lot of debris that has kind of been washed into this, uh -huh. into the drain part, but there's it's hardly any water. It, it's all down here. Yeah. Oh, you're not coming down? Yeah, it's just, there's a trail that's coming down and around the front of this pine tree. Yeah, good. Yeah, well, so it's work working well. It's but work as working as it should. As you probably noticed when we were coming out, we didn't have all of the, like the flooding in the, um, in the gravel, gravel mm -hmm. like we used to. So that's great. It's working really well, but mm -hmm. you can just see a little bit of it. It's kind of trailing down. Yeah, I mean this, so it, it slopes down here like this and it mm -hmm. goes that direction that mm -hmm. away from mm -hmm. the house. Yep, but um, we still have, we have this some, issue. Yeah, this, there's a concrete pad right here that's under yeah. all of this debris and it slopes towards the house. Yeah, so weird. You know, I bought that um, masonry wheel for my angle grinder uh, so I can get the bricks mm. out of the um, fireplace and I didn't end up using it. I was thinking about just coming in here and just cutting a big line from- <laughs> A trench? <laughs> yeah, just cutting a trench mm -hmm. with the angle grinder and just letting it drain out that way. Mm. I still think we need to build something up here. We, yeah, it somehow. Needs a, yeah, it needs a drain, mm -hmm. and then yeah, or maybe what we can do is what we did. Remember what we did at the house in Portland? The garage had the same issue. Yeah, the driveway went down right to the garage, and it what all the water would flood the garage doors. Mm -hmm. And so we literally did that. We took a grinder, and we did two lines, 
and then we put in like a drain with a pump. Right. Yeah. Is that what you're kind of thinking? That, kind of, but yeah. I was going to do it more on the cheap end, but yeah. But what she's saying is, <laughs> so yeah, we took a concrete saw, yeah. cut out a... Trench. Yeah, it was... It was like a four inch. Uh, I think it was six inches oh, wide, six. and then put in a... Um, um, like a, like a, I can't, what are they called? It's not a gutter, <clears throat> it, a plastic. It was oh, just a drainage pipe. Yeah, it, it'll come to me. It's, <laughs> it, it was a, a U shape with a, with a grate on the top of it to, uh, yeah. to like capture a debris. A channel. That's yeah. what I was looking for. I was like, a channel. Just channel. channel. To, yeah, it channels the water down. Yeah, water and then channel. we had a, a sump pump in a collection, like a big, huge, where it would suck. It, it in a dry. In a dry well, that's dry what it well. was. Mm -hmm. That was, yeah, so we had a dry well with a pump. Mm -hmm. And because Portland, you get a, a ton of rain. Just like here. Just like here. Yep. And so we, similar situation when we first bought our house together in Portland. <laughs> Gosh, yeah, that's right. When it was under contract, we, was it our realtor that went there or no, we, 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 we went, went there? there. It was, and it was right after a very, very heavy rain. And the whole backyard was flooded. Three feet deep. And we're just like. Yeah, three feet I'm sorry, of, what? of standing water. And it went up about two feet into the garage. Yeah. And after we had, we, were have, we had the garage redone when we were doing some other stuff. Speaking the, of hanging The walls. garage was just. <laughs> Floating. It wasn't. There was nothing attaching it to the bottom, no. to the ground, because it had rotted out so yeah, much. Yeah, like by this much. Yeah. <laughs> Two full walls. The whole. And to make it even more fun, it had a walkout deck, mm -hmm. so people would go out and host parties up there, and there was me, nothing you, holding it. He's me, trying I, to wipe you. I know. Off. I do not want to get wet. He's like, Daddy. Young man. My face is a little too wet. Young man. He's a little too wet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, that, that Portland house was a money pit. Hey, you know what? It's like this house. It is. <laughs> like, it's like we have this We, we have a knack of buying, buying these money pits. These crazy, crazy, crazy houses that literally Let's go. Let's go, girl. Are so rotten. Come on. That's it. Come on, girl. There you go. Good job. Yeah, the, we did a lot of work on the Portland house ourselves, but we also did a lot of, we hired a lot of stuff out. For the kitchen, because we, I mean, we kitchen, did a huge all of the siding remodel. Outside, yeah. Uh, fixing the garage walls that weren't touching the ground. But the place was unrecognizable. <laughs> it really was. It was like, we made so many updates to it and took out walls and just updated things, but tried to keep as much character as possible. And I think that's what we're kind of struggling with with this house. Yeah. Because <clears throat> we do, I mean, we loved the cuteness of it and the character of it, and that's what we <laughs> fell in love with. And it seems like we're getting rid of everything. We do have plans to reuse some of the stuff and try to build some character back into it. You know, when we're putting it back, it's mm -hmm. not, it's not, I don't, I don't have intentions of it being a super modern looking home. I mean, the kitchen will be nice mm -hmm. and functional, but as much as we can to, to put some character back into it, whether it's, you know, like wood burning stove and, and some things that are a little bit more that should have been in the house that was taken out by the previous owner. So it's all, <laughs> it's all well, like fun. One of our viewers- It rains so much. Yeah, one of our viewers said, it's not even gonna be a 1930s house anymore by the time we're done with it. No. There'll be like a single stud left over from that <laughs> 1930s house. No, the, <laughs> the exterior walls. For now. The, I don't, I hope we don't take, have to take those down. Where's too. your sisters? I, I've only seen her for quite a while. I've only seen the one out my window. And oh, there this, they are. They're oh, right they there. there. Are they just? I see Blanche right there and then. Oh, okay. oh they're just back. Yeah, Sophia, or they're not Sophia, uh, Dorothy Good. is back there. They're finally staying in this paddock and not trying to jump out because there's plenty, plenty for them to eat now. Yeah, now that it kind of, it's been so rainy, it, everything's just exploded and. Yeah. You can see how much green we have. Yeah. Yeah. See, this is that tree again. Is this an autumn olive? olive? Um, this is. Well, this is an autumn olive. Okay, so that was. But the stuff you're pointing to, this is your. That's your. Uh, oh no. That is not honeysuckle. Well, there's a honeysuckle. Vine that right is. There. Yeah, but this isn't. Yeah. Oops. What, who's behind oh, maybe me? Maybe it is. Yeah. That doesn't smell like honeysuckle at all. That's honeysuckle. This this one's honeysuckle. This one is. Yes, but, but not, this is not. Not this. Yeah, but look how similar the leaves look. Uh -huh. 
Very, very close. That's crazy. Sorry, buddy. I need to step on your toe. <laughs> All right. And they're just choo -choo 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 -choo. Yep, they're happy. There's a uh, I don't know if we've ever really showed back this section really, really well, but there's like terraces mm -hmm. and there's a bunch of barbed wire where there used to be paddocks that were at some point once we start clearing again and being able to start expanding into different areas. Obviously, this is a long term far away project because we don't have the ability to do that right now, but would like to get some of these paddocks built back up or fixed and then be able to rotate the animals through them and actually have little paddocks to kind of do more rotational mm -hmm. targeted gro grazing yeah, rather than no, none of this uh, temporary yeah netting yeah want to kind of get rid of it's like <laughs> they have their pros they have their cons right. yes but if you have a really good system in place and a good structure i would rather have the permanency of it and be able to know what you have. It's just so much work to move these constantly and especially through navigating through how many trees we have. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's so much extra work where if we could just have something kind of set up and standard. Yeah. Did you forget your bug spray? Yeah, I did. <laughs> I did, it's okay. I have, an, I have a reminder set for tonight at eight o'clock to order um, your net. my netting, yeah. Yeah, I'll make some more of the spray too just to kind of help keep them away a little yeah. bit more. Um, it works pretty good. I'm expecting him very soon. So, and I forgot my phone, so. Okay. So, like I said, it's gonna be a short one. Okay. Just, just, kind of a, just kind of a high, letting you know that we're having fun with the house. <laughs> or <We're> not. <laughs> Actually, it is fun. Yeah. It's just, today I removed, you know those, um, the foam boards that I put in mm -hmm. between the floor joists to help with moisture inside the, I pulled all those out because I don't need them right now. They're right. gonna be in the way. So those got removed and that's when I realized that the wall was not was actually wonky. sitting on the foundation. Big standing puddles of water. Yeah, we got, that was a lot of rain. It was a lot of rain. Yeah, that was a lot yeah, of rain. Yeah, I kinda just wanted to walk around. So I'm gonna continue walking and check out the chicks up there. Okay. And just make sure that nobody's in standing water that they can okay. get out of it in their coops. We'll see you tomorrow. All right. Bye guys. Bye. What you eating, buddy? Um, what did you eat? You are now drooling. What did you eat? He's like salivating now. Like, I think he might, oh, I don't know what it is. Look at this. It's like, oh, that's like a good five inches. That used to be a tree. Look at how many mushrooms are in here. And, oh, is that leeches? Oh, no. What is that? Is that a leech or is that just a... a um, Mushroom head? No, on the top of it, that thing on top of it. That oh, looks like a leech. A slug. Please just be a slug. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Hi, bud. Hi, pretty There's girl. There's a, a lot of mushrooms. There's a bunch of mushrooms all throughout here. I wonder what kind those are. 